Getting cleaned up at a rest area bathroom first thing in the morning? <sighs> Never in your life would you ever think that this feels that damn good. I'm a little curious. There's a payphone here. Does it work? <laughs> Listen, can you hear that? I don't know what it is about going around that corner because I've been on this section of the highway a few times, but today I get this feeling of just excitement and a little bit of nervousness because this right here is where I feel like, I feel like my trip is actually starting. The last couple of days I've had a bit of tension and stuff inside because anytime I embark on any sort of adventure away from Vancouver, I always got a few days, sometimes up to a week, before my insides slow down enough that I feel calm. It's something about going around that corner back there knowing that I'm just around the corner from the most epic mountain I've ever put my eyes on. <sighs> We're getting closer to Alberta. I have been waiting for this moment ever since I left Vancouver. I knew this was gonna be the very point where <sighs> everything just went away. No stress, no nothing. That the open road and me and the next four months of traveling begins right here. Behind me is Mount Robson, one of the most beautiful mountains in the entire Canadian Rocky Mountains. <sighs> just look at that shot. <laughs> What's up, weirdos? Woo! This trip has officially begun. My gosh, we're in Mount Mount. F <laughs> no, not Mount, not not Mount Mount. F uh, Mount Robson Provincial Park, still just about on the borderline of Alberta, and wait till you see the mountain that's just around the next corner. Ho <laughs> ho! Yeah, we're heading towards Jet. <sighs> okay, the wind door is shutting on my van. The winds disrupting this video. Come on! <laughs> Let's go. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Well, Guess who officially is no longer in British Columbia, Canada? We've been filming in this beautiful province that I was born and raised in for the better part of two years on my channel. We've only adventured out of BC twice, both times very short trips with destinations to be at because I had to be back in Vancouver for a specific date. This time, 
we got some time to explore. So right now I'm saying bye bye to the province of BC because we're about to enter cow country. Cow country, it's this home of wild roses or wild rose country. But this is more, I don't know, this is more cow country. Like they got like the Calgary stampede and stuff and lots of like cattle farms and yeehaw! <laughs> Welcome to Alberta. Just like a seed in a garden, you will grow to be tall. Staring out over miles of land without it. We're about to enter Jasper National Park, and I guess I better put my glasses on because I can't see nothing with those on. <sighs> okay. Hi. Are you visiting the park today? Yeah, I am actually. Just for one night? One night. And you're the only adult, I'm assuming? Yeah. I mean, 980. And that's borderlining if I'm even an adult. <laughs> We're in Jasper, Alberta. It cost me $9.80 for my entry to the national park. They gave me this fancy piece of paper and they even put tape on either side so I can tape this to my window so everybody knows that I paid so I don't have any issues while I'm in here. So where are we going to put it? We're going to put it on that. I think we should put it on that side. There we go. Boom. <laughs> I tried to get some video clips of downtown Jasper, but it's just way too busy. All the tourists are out there snapping their pictures and doing their thing. I'll go film that stuff first thing in the morning when everybody's still sleeping and I can capture the raw beauty of this place. I get a message from somebody, I get, I got, I get, I got, a a a <laughs> oh. All right, I got a message from somebody on Patreon today that's like, hey bro, bro, I, I hear you're coming to, coming to Jasper, bro. I'm traveling in Jasper right now, bro. We should go get some beers, bro. Okay, he didn't say any of that stuff, and I don't even know why, bro. He didn't even say bro in the message at all. <laughs> anyway, his name is Clancy, and he's working and living and traveling through Jasper, and his box truck is actually parked one, two, three, four, five, six vehicles in front of me, and me and him are gonna go get some beers. Back, all right, Cruzy Bear? Hey, I'll be right back, Cruzy. You hold down the fort. Fans all blacked out with my little foam boards. Can't see anything in there. We're all locked up. Got the roof fan on. Cruzy is good to go. Yep, it's morning time. I slept right on the main strip here. And uh, no, no problems, man. Van life is a freaking breeze. Clancy's still parked way up there in front of me. Oh, and my van? My van smells like pee. You hear the sound of that? That rumble? <laughs> There's trains here and they've been wiggling by here all night long. That one's been sitting there for who knows how long this morning and it's making the van got this humming sound in there. Believe it or not, it was very, very calming. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I slept in, shocking. Even though me and Clancy went out for beers last night, but the restaurant we were at closed at 10.30, which means I was back in my van and sleeping in my van by 11 o'clock, which means I should have ideally been up in the morning at the same time, four o'clock, five o'clock, when I woke up at 7, it was like, oh, oh, did I just wake up at 7? But I woke up to the van smelling like pee. At night, I still put the pee pad down for Cruz because he's not quite good on holding it all night long still. But he missed the pee pad last night. And it got all over the floor. But he peed beside the pee pad, so I can't get mad at him. But it smells like pee. And it kind of smells like pee because a little bit more because yesterday, Cruz wandered up on the bed. 
he doesn't like coming up on the bed. He came up on the bed while I was editing a video. He was running around and playing, and he went quiet while he peed on my bed. So the first thing on the agenda is we need to find a laundromat to get rid of that stank. Thanks a lot, Cruz. Thanks a lot. First time I've ever been to a laundromat that has a full-blown coffee shop. People are actually walking into the laundromat to grab coffee and not do laundry. It's like a legitimate coffee shop. And I got a muffin fresh out of the oven. Mmm. Way better than being in my van and smelling pee this morning. <laughs> Let me tell you that. <laughs> say showers yeah a laundromat with a shower in it this would be the first for me and I know I've seen you guys say it in the comments that some laundromats have showers well this will be my first laundromat shower five bucks for eight minutes I don't want to leave this place. I could van life here for a while, not just a couple of days, maybe a couple of months, and maybe a couple more months, and a couple more months. Could you imagine living inside of a national park? Jasper is kind of attached to another national park, which is well, a couple hours that way, which is Banff, Alberta. And Banff, Banff, always mess up saying that word but they're kind of interlinked. Could you imagine living within these two national parks full time for like six months? Yeah, I want to. I want to do that right now. Oh, I can't wait for my daughter to grow up, be out of school and start building her own life. Then this guy is going to be like, peace out. I'm going to go travel 100% and never turn around. And this would be one of those spots that I'd be like, huh, Jasper, welcome home, baby. And you'd never get lonely because I took some time to read, I didn't read at all, but you would never get lonely because the, the wild animal population here is quite dense. Within the park of Jasper, there are 220 black bears, 110 big, fluffy, cute grizzly bears, an unknown number of coyotes, 60 to 80 wolves, 300 elk, 1,200 bighorn sheep, Oh, bam! Sorry, that was my big horn cheap impression. The big, all right. <laughs> 180 moose and 250 mountain goats. I just want to go hug a grizzly bear. I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go find myself a big fuzzy grizzly bear. Give him a great big fuzzy hug. <sighs> okay. We're done for the day. Well, we're done with you guys for the day. Because it's time for me to go explore this amazing national park. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all probably tomorrow. Peace out. Oh, so to the super sweet girl from the laundromat that was too shy to come over and say hi to me, that was like, she told the owner, she, oh, I watch him on YouTube, and she was too scared to come over and talk to me. So the owner comes over and she's like, hey, I hear you're a YouTuber. Uh, to that girl, hi, it was super nice to meet you, and I will probably see you again before I leave this trip, because I'm sure I'm gonna need to do more laundry, and this dirty van dweller is gonna need to have a shower. So I'll probably see you soon. God, I love meeting subscribers. Oh, and another cool subscriber story. When I was driving around looking for the laundromat because the laundromat's kind of in a lower level and I missed it, I drove around the back of the building and some guy in some delivery truck was like, oh, he was like, what's up? He's like, I'll watch it. It was so cool. Another subscriber, like, uh, I love it when, I, when, when people like recognize me and come over and see me. It just uh, warms my heart. Okay, now we're done. Let's do the ending again. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Peace out. Okay, this, this, this time I'm going. Oh. No, I'm not gonna litter in a national park, guys. Come on. I'm out of here.